Hey, I'm Kadeen Ellis. And I'm DeVal. And this is Couch Conversation. So DeVal and I have been together for almost 16 years and yeah. married for almost eight. And Ooh. we find ourselves debating about the same thing. So we figured we would open up a debate to other couples to see yeah. how they feel about these things. And we're going to bring the conversation to you. So DeVal and I have been together for almost 16 years and yes. married for almost eight. And yes. we just seem to always debate about the same things over, over and, and over and over, and over again. again. What? It is. It's, it's, no, I didn't. It's, but it's over. It's a lot. <laughs> so we've been sitting around here just beating dead horses all day. So we figured we'd open up our couch to two lovely couples who are also married and find out who's right and who's wrong. Today we're talking about gender roles within the household. Hmm. So how are we going to kick that off? <laughs> well, first and foremost, I just want to put a disclaimer here that this was my wife's idea. <laughs> what was my idea? I don't like fighting. <laughs> so I've learned, I've learned how to digress a lot. All right? So Hilarious. we're going to open this up to the couples. And we're going to have the couples introduce themselves and give their perspective. We have been together for 18 years. It should have been 18 years in two more weeks, but the first time I asked her out, I thought we were dating, and apparently we weren't. Oh, wow. And I went to tickle her knee one time. I did that, and she was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, what? Me? So I'm not doing nothing. You had to reset the clock. Yeah, to reset the clock. So two weeks later, I got the official. Exclusive. Exclusive. Then, the knee. Right now. Uh, that was, uh, <laughs> then I went right back to the knee. Like <laughs> Finish this sentence. So far, marriage has been amazing. A, an amazing journey. Ooh, absolutely. And to my left, um, I'm Isa Bolden. Um, this is Casey Mills. We've been married for about uh, two and a half years. So y'all fresh in the game. Fresh in the game. Fresh. Married two and a half years. We've been dating for. It's a little up and down. She doesn't know, but Wait. we've been we've been we've been talking off and on for about seven years okay then we got married mm. um she thinks it's more it is i say more. it's less that's the ongoing situation but <laughs> <laughs> wait no why well, it's, so we're having different our clocks are different here yeah right. she, well we know we've been married for two and a half years right. but <laughs> that was <laughs> right that's, that's, that's the most important thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. she thinks we've been dating this whole this whole long time. She's been dating you. She right. Oh, <laughs> she's been dating you gotcha. a long time. In her mind. In her mind. Okay. So I had to keep telling her, no, it was this date. We were this age. I wish I had a camera for when y'all get in the car. <laughs> when y'all get in the car, I want to see that. Oh, so we haven't been dating. I've been yeah. hilarious. And marriage has been? It it, it was rough at first. Mm -hmm. right. It was rough at first. And now it's been this kind of it's kind of uh, smoothing out now. Well, so, I mean, well, since you know you said rough, why why has it been rough? Oh, wow, we're right into it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I grew up in the church. I grew up in church in um, a two parent home. When people teach you, you hear about what they tell you, mm -hmm. um, and you go off of what other people say, mm -hmm. how you should date, right. mm -hmm. how hey, what hey, type absolutely. of woman that you look right. for. Right. You say, okay, you know, she needs to be this, she needs to be that, and mm -hmm. your whole life that. And then you meet someone, and it's and it's not that. Right. And then you get married. And like, wait a minute, what? What? You know, I didn't. They didn't tell me this. So did y'all have like a, a different idea what marriage was going to be than what it turned out to be? It's more so what we thought, how established we would be. Mm. So mm. mentally, for me, I already knew I wanted a man that had a house, had a car, and of course the credit thing. But then marrying Isa, it was the whole. I'm a dream maker. I'm going after my dreams. Mm -hmm. I'm moving you to LA. Sound familiar? Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's gender roles, though. You didn't have a car, mm -hmm. right? No. Well, we had a, he had a car. So all of that, everything else just went out the window. So you right? got married. You know. So you got married with just a car and homeless. So y'all were homeless. Well, I was, I was homeless. She was. I came out here to follow my dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was in Virginia. And so I was homeless, sleeping in my car. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I guess you know she was. <laughs> she was the one that was stuck by me through all these, these yeah. times. So I said, you know what? You know, um, cause I know no one else would have done that. And so through prayer and lots of uh, talking, I said, let me marry this woman. And so I flew down to Virginia, married her, and came back, and was still living in my car. So the homeless? Yeah. Still homeless. How you got a plane ticket? <laughs> I the first thing I thought of. I know, you were resourceful. <laughs> I, 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 had a, I had a job, had a but I didn't have no place to stay because I wasn't wow. making that money. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And so yeah. I, was, I was still living in my car. I wasn't yeah. on. So what'd you propose with? 
<laughs> went home to Virginia. I brought a ring. Okay. I brought a ring and proposed to her. Mm -hmm. She said yes. Which is dope, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is amazing. Because that that is, that is you had plenty of it's not right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. That anybody would understand. Like, why are you ain't married? He ain't got no house. Yeah. <laughs> fair. He got no house. He got no house. He got no house. He got no house. He got no He don't own a house? No. He <laughs> has nowhere no to house. live. Right. And you said yes. Like, that's yeah. dope. Now, going into gender roles and what your family had set out or you had heard right. is necessary in finding a spouse. Yes. The man should do X, Y, Z. The woman should do X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Yes. What made you say yes at that point? And also, what was the backlash you got? I'm assuming, was there any backlash from your family? From my family, from it was people? it was questions. It was, where y'all gonna stay? Uh, why would you go way out there? In the car? Who, <laughs> it's a <laughs> car <laughs> though, like, As a parent, I'm like, are you gonna have a job <laughs> when you go out there? Somebody gotta have a job. Are you gonna find an apartment? We literally got approved maybe 10 days before I moved out here okay. to an apartment. We understand now gender roles really don't matter to y'all. Y'all just, <laughs> just right, it's all done. everywhere. Yeah, how, how, just... how would y'all, how would, how would you feel? Um, I'm going to say and on a certain level, I identify with what she's saying in that when we left Washington, we came to L.A. on a prayer and a dream. Yeah, that's we it. left a job making more money than we had mm -hmm. ever made mm -hmm. at that right. point in our yeah, life. Uh, <laughs> we left our security of right. home, mm -hmm. security of friends, mm -hmm. uh, church, mm -hmm. that full um, community was there. We graduated high school there, got married there, went to college there, bought a house there, had kids there. And to decide, I want to leave here mm -hmm. and move to a foreign place without a job, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. without a place to stay. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. It's literally, it's the so same. So neither one of y'all had jobs in your no. hotel? No. And we, we come from military backgrounds, so mm -hmm. like so oh, everybody, right. the only way anyone moved yeah, is when the know. army with said, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. outside of that, stable. you retired and you lived wherever you last retired at. Right. And right. Right. nobody right. quit their jobs, nobody right. moved. I can't even think of anyone I knew in my life that, first of all, was not, parents weren't in the military. Right. Second of all, was like, I'm going to move to- Like literally anything. pick up your roots <laughs> wow. and plant Outside them. Outside of the city. What was that like? Because the now, I mean- The scariest thing on the planet. <laughs> when, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you had kids, right? Yeah, two, yes. two kids. Two kids. Yeah. Two kids. Yes. How old were your children at the time? They were five, five and, and three, three or oh, six wow. and four. Wow. Something around Somewhere there. between five and three and six and four. Okay. It was scary because um, I'm married to a dreamer. Right. I'm married to a person who we can do this. This is what you want. And I'm very much, okay, but let's look at plan A yes. and yes, B uh -huh. and C. And yes. I'm like, no, nah, let's flip exactly. that. Because <laughs> <Let's flip that. laughs> I was like, I'll be homeless. She was like, and I won't. And he absolutely. <laughs> He I was absolutely. like, but Tyler Perry, and but I are you Tyler Perry? I ain't Mrs. Perry. <laughs> I promise Tyler you. Tyler Perry got a wife. Right, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Or kids. That's what I'm saying. She was like, nah, no, no. So it's safe to say that gender roles really don't even exist in your home. I mean, I think there it's interesting. Like when we first started talking about gender roles, I noticed when you said your names, you didn't share the same last name. And I was like, because hmm. there's some things in my life that we're like. I would never, like, there are supremely, you know, traditional right. man and woman things. Right, right, right. And right. some things, I'm just like, man, I don't care what, you know, it's really like what the generation before you mm -hmm. say a man should do. You know, m m my wife does the finances, does all the bills, partly because she used to make more money than me. Mm -hmm. well, actually, she made more money than me almost our entire marriage. Mm -hmm. And high school, I just started getting my life together. <laughs> but uh, so I remember like I was doing the bills at first just because, you know, growing up, they were like, you're the man, you're, you're supposed to pay the right, bills. Right, right. But I was struggling. I was like, it's the 13th already. I ain't paid. God, this is, I'm all, I'm, I'm not keeping track of stuff. And she was like, look, I'm taking these over, you know. And I, I remember like a deacon at our church was like, you can't be the man if you don't pay the bills. Like if I don't pay the bills, they're going to be late. And it wasn't a lack of money. I just, I wasn't thinking just about wasn't stuff like that. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, like it was right, too right. much to manage for me. Right. Her and strength I was, was an organ Her organization. strength was that. Right. And so that's the first time we were like, you know what? I don't care what works for y'all. Right. This works for us. Right. And that's what it is. we're going to, because you're not going to pay if I'm late. You're right, not going right, to pay. Right, so, right, right. and I'm, I'm glad that happened because, because later in life I got fired and I had to be a, a stay-at-home dad. So then it was like, not only is she making more money than me, she's leaving for work. Right. And I'm making lunches and taking kids right. to school yeah. and like right. making no money. I was just like, fam, you are not the man right, right now. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I remember waking up like, 
I'm gonna just wake up when she wakes up. Cause like, <laughs> heaven <laughs> forbid, that, yeah, that she you just be asleep. Right. She go, oh, you just sleepy. <laughs> you just... Ego, ego and gender roles. How does oh that my play? gosh. How does that play out? That probably, that was really, really tough. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the only thing that kept me sane is that I used that time to create content. Mm -hmm. Like I made like my own reality series called The Stay at Home Dad. Mm -hmm. And I tried to flip that into like, something that I could build. Right. Cause like the, the the traditional man in me was like, fam, your wife is going to work trap. You know what I mean? Like yeah. dealing with traffic, bringing home the bacon, mm -hmm. you're cooking and cleaning and changing right. diapers and like- Did you feel like less of a man? Oh my gosh. I, I, my confidence was at an all time low. <laughs> I was just like, man, she is like killing me right now. Like I really, <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't feel like I could stand up all the way straight. So did this in turn take a toll on your marriage now? When we were going through this transition of him not having a job, I made sure, and this is like a conscious decision, not to challenge his ego. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes as a man, I already know he's feeling a certain way about it. And mm -hmm. instead of like throwing salt on that wound, um, because he's fired, he's not making more money. And Kev is very much a an alpha male. Right. And so that's already a lot. And so instead of, oh, you going to do this, oh, you not doing this, oh, you right. just going to be oh, sleep. You know, we can easily yeah. tear down our right. man and their ego and like, um, let me help you put you in your right. place, okay? Right. Um, right. I intentionally made sure not to do that. Wow. Uh, I didn't even know that. I appreciate it, wow. though. Wow. Because I would have been. I was fragile. You, you exactly. don't hear that. But you, you identified. That I was Batman. Remember when Batman got his back broken? And he oh, was yeah. like, <laughs> I was him. Like, I know I have the potential to be Batman, but right now I can't even stand it. <laughs> <laughs> this man, life had snapped my back right. and threw me in a prison halfway across the world. And I was like, I, I'm not strong right now. I need time to heal. Brother! <laughs> Bro. It's <laughs> broken. <laughs> did you did you have moments though where you felt like oh, wish you would just Well, so the job. thing about it, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, because like again, I am moments? a I am a planner. And so even mm -hmm. though we knew the firing was coming, his initial thought process was not let me go out and get another job. Mm. His initial thought process was, this is my opportunity to pursue my dreams. <laughs> yes. right. Yeah, but bills yes. don't cut in half right. because you got fired. <laughs> so you have to have another conversation that says, this isn't how I envisioned this. Mm. Even when we moved from, Los or from Washington to Los Angeles, like, I didn't envision my life picking up and moving. Right. I envisioned us, here. and now we're here, you know? You so it's no just job. a convert. And that's why I said earlier the question about it being a, no. an amazing journey, because that's what that's what marriage is, that's what life is. It's just, it's there's ups and downs, mm. there's, you know, valleys and hills mm. and mountaintops, and it's just a journey. And you have to decide and have those hard conversations that says, I ain't really signed up for all this. Right. right. I did it. I envisioned us climbing the corporate ladder, right? <laughs> buying the big house. And now all of a sudden we're not doing that? Yeah. How did we get here? I have a question. I know the women are very clear about what they want and what they needed as far as gender roles. They wanted men who <laughs> worked more on the baking of the house. Were there anything that you guys needed or felt like this is no, there's no bargaining this? As a man, I need my woman and my wife to do this. It's funny because like we grew up, like you said, traditional. Right. So it was always, like you were saying earlier, you know, the man's supposed to do this, man's supposed to do mm -hmm. that. Um, and then as I got older, the whole thing changed. But for me, it, it went from, I had like a list mm -hmm. to now it was, I need a woman who was supportive, mm -hmm. um, who, was, who was strong and supportive and who was willing to follow me as I followed my dream. Right. That was one thing. Um, that was that was actually the main thing mm -hmm. that I that I. I mean, it's hard to have a list when you're living in a car. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I need her to do this. I need her to do that. Right. <laughs> Let me turn on the AC in this car. <laughs> right. Right. I get that, but now you're on your I'm feet though. Now, you never on feet. You're on your feet. No list for you. No, no, no list for you. Here's the a list. Check out apartments. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's the only list you allowed to have. <laughs> But now you're on your feet, though. Right, now on my feet. So do you feel now like, okay, I'm on my feet. I need my wife to do this. Right. Uh, one thing I needed, I, I, would, I wanted her to do was better communication. Mm. That was one thing. So you weren't being too picky then? I wasn't, I wasn't picky. Uh -huh. I'm a picky person, but I wasn't too picky. Okay. You guys don't have the same last name. Um, married. Was that deliberate? 
how well that that wasn't that was okay. that was not a long story it was more she did forgot to it's yeah with my job for a license i didn't want to go through the paperwork once i got here he want he wants my last name to be his last name right. it's just a lot of paperwork for me for my my health professional license to go oh, through that so, that's a license. so that's i'm just name. like right 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 we'll blow it off and like we have kids i'm not gonna take your last name no, no, it well i did it. want i did want to hold my last yeah, name yeah she did want to hold it but i couldn't because i'm couldn't the youngest that. of six girls so, oh, mm. so I, my daddy don't have sons right. so okay that's why so i wanted to on hold you. on to it let's flip it now because you asked the gentlemen what they were initially looking for going mm -hmm. into a marriage or looking for a spouse mm -hmm. gender roles what were you expecting from a man, from your husband, from a spouse, a partner. Um. Well, well she Virginia, said it. She wanted the yeah, house. Uh -huh. I wanted the house. The but that's because from Virginia, we're very conservative. Everybody's cookie cutter. Everybody, mm -hmm. you know, you know at least fifty people that at the same church. You know, you know, you can walk through Walmart. You you just it's just so family oriented. You know, you mm -hmm. you get married one year, you have your first child before two right. years, and we've been married almost two and a half, and we haven't so you started getting that children. You getting the pressure yet? From family. Oh okay. yes! Oh yes! <laughs> Family, when y'all start, and I'm like, mm -hmm. don't worry about that. Like, <laughs> y'all just keep watching Esau's story. <laughs> Let's just keep watching this story right quick. Um, but, but that was only because it was what I thought I wanted. And then being out here, it was just like I never thought I'd never not wanted a home, a house. I mean, like I don't know what I want anymore. I mean, it's just. What I thought I wanted is now you know, all it's reconstructed. Right. It's so, funny listening right. to both of y'all who grew up with so much structure. Mm -hmm. Right. Both couples right. grew up with so yeah. much structure. Mm -hmm. And y'all work because y'all don't do anything that has exactly. anything to do with structure. <laughs> and it's funny exactly. to me because people often feel like if you follow structure, this is the roadmap right. to yes. happiness. Uh, right. Yes. And then right. it's like the yeah. minute you break that roadmap yes. and you realize, wait, I can do something on my own. Right. That's that, you said freedom right. with yes, the apartment. It's like, right. it's like, I see that here and I hear the same thing over Absolutely. here. Right. It's like the, the gender roles just completely went out the window. And right. I mean, the, the one thing I did really hear, and I wonder, you probably had to do the same thing when you said that you deliberately avoided breaking his ego. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you had to do the same thing? Yeah, I, I just I couldn't mention I didn't I felt like I didn't want to mention any struggles or any babe any it's just going struggles. right mm -hmm. my personal struggles or then you know he's trying to do filmmaking so it's like okay babe like is it going right you know or I, I didn't want to show that I was either faithless at the time or doubting anything right. it's sure. just always Come on, baby. Let's let's keep going. I'll be a DP. I have no idea how to do it, but I'll do it. <laughs> right, right, like right, right, let's right, just right. keep doing it. But inside, it was like, okay, what are we doing? Like, right. you know, what's happening? You do know, do y'all feel like that's part of a gender role as a woman to like ultimately just be supportive no matter mm -hmm. what Absolutely. you're going through? You have to kind of hide your truth to support your man. Do you feel like that's a, a gender um, role? I would say I don't. Uh, yes, actually, I'm going to yeah. say yes. Because yeah. one thing about a man is that there's a lot of vibrato. Yeah. I said it right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But the ego is so fragile. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. so frail. Yeah. And a woman, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> like, no, no, no. no, it ain't. Kev is always going to be good, baby. Kev going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to this is like I'm learning a lot because I know for a fact there was times that she made sure my ego was good. Yeah. Okay. Because like you and like you, I'm a dreamer. Mm. I quit the NFL to do TV film. Mm. And start his own business. And I was like, People what? were like, my family were like, mm -hmm. are you kidding me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, are you kidding me? And I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to act. I remember what? when he said act. he wanted to retire. I was like, you're going to retire from it's the crazy. NFL? Right. Like, That's what percentage right. of yeah. men <laughs> That's go to the NFL get that. Right. and get, get that opportunity? And the thing is, when you, like, see what you want your life to be, mm -hmm. everything else, you can't get through the day like That's, that. That is the truth. And my son booked a movie, and we came to L.A. and mm -hmm. lived here for two months. I took time off FMLA at my job. The studio put us up, mm -hmm. you know, paid him or whatever. And once I was on that movie set, I, so I told her, I was it. like, I started telling I gotta her. I got to do this. I said, There's, I'm telling you now, right. within a year, we have to move to L.A. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it. Yo, at no I, regular job. Yeah, I was like, I I'm going to die you. inside. Because right. you, you talk about a regular job. I had a dope ass job. <laughs> and I still <laughs> was, I was not happy. I, wish I, was in I, can, I came right. home after my rookie right. year. Yo, I came home after my rookie year. I, and I'm I, sitting there on the bed. I'm chilling. And she's like, well, you know what's going on? I'm like, 
So you don't want to watch the draft? No. And, and, and the thing is, my ego was big. And if I didn't have my wife to support me through that the same way you had yours yeah. and you had yours. But hearing other dreamers talk about that. Oh, yeah. Right. But I got a question, though. All right? We know gender roles, the most important gender role that I just found out for a woman in a marriage mm -hmm. is to help keep the male ego. <laughs> what would you have to say, what would you say is the most important gender role for a husband in your marriage? Well, we've already had this conversation, but for me, it's just thank you. Or, hey babe, thank you for helping me tonight. I'm gonna help you regardless. Every shoot we've done, all of that, at the end of the day, I just want to hear thank you, not, okay, what's the next thing? Or about the complaint yeah. or whatever didn't go right. I just want to hear thank you. Appreciation. Girl, you done spoke to my heart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason a dreamer can dream is when there's a solid person at home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holding it down. Mm -hmm. When you come home and there is a dinner, there is a plate for you in the microwave, mm -hmm. all you gotta do is hit 30 seconds yeah. on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The plate is made. The plate like, is made. This guy will starve some days. And I'm like, DeVal, there is food in the fridge. I don't need There's to Tupperwares. <laughs> he won't even fix his plate to put it in the microwave I'm if dreaming. I don't do it for him. I'm dreaming too much. I'm dreaming too much to be okay, hungry. I'm dreaming too much to be hungry. Too much dreaming going on. I'm dreaming too much to be hungry. Wake the hell up, DeVal. Yeah. <laughs> or starve. Yeah. Right. You don't, so no, the same right. thing for you to say thank Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 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 Hilarious. And that's what I tell people about marriage. It's like you can't expect it to be the same year to year, no, you know, no. month to month. Nope. People change. That's I became weird. more ambitious. She started to feel more confident. She wrote yeah. a book. She's coming out of her shell. That's dope. Now she's doing stuff. She and you got to adjust to that because the person she was in year two. It's we're fourteen. There's no way yeah. a person's gonna stay that's the dope. same yeah. for an entire lifetime. That's a great way to wrap things up. Yeah. So, so what would you guys say? Gender roles. How do we? Are we anybody right? Anybody wrong? If I had to sum it up, I say. You know, my wife used to always say this, you have to do what works for you yeah, in your right. marriage. Right. What exactly. works for your mom and dad, what works right. in the 50s, right. your grandparents, mm -hmm. whatever, that may work for them. What works for us works for us. Right. So whatever role needs to happen, and those things might not, not even done. be consistent. Yeah. Right. Maybe she stays home for this time, I stay home for that time, we yeah. both do this. Like, your roles change as your, as your life yeah. determines them right. to change. And just be able to be consistent with whatever needs to be at the time it needs to be it. Yeah, uh, I gotta agree, yeah, man. Absolutely. I agree with that. All right. All right. All right. Well, before we wrap it up, I'm gonna let you know why I appreciate you. Oh, oh that was good. Thank and you, I'm baby. sad you <laughs> beat me to it. God damn. Oh, I'm on it, y'all. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> Couch conversations, gender roles. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Thank, thank you. Great time. Great time. Thank you for <laughs> <laughs> oil up, you want me to oil up? I get oiled up. But that's true. Okay. I gotta do that's it. true. It's different than times like you know, you've been in this mess all day. You've it's true, you know, you got, you got the, you got the last man on earth beard, exactly. hair all over your head, so you, you in the same like, drawers for these two days. Why? Why it gotta be like that? Because you're just. You know, he don't get Deep interested until I go and shave up. I don't get interested until she shave up. <laughs> <laughs>